Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got the how to make a basic cutscene tut uh, tutorial. Uh, this is a how to make a basic transformation cutscene. It's guys, I'm I'm just giving a disclaimer right now. It is extremely simple. I'm just introducing the topic. You know, just changing your camera angles. Just give it like a camera change, like effect and stuff. It is very simple and basic. So if you're coming for something advanced and intricate, like a whole cutscene, I mean, you would see like in the strongest battleground, something like that this is not it it's very basic and stuff uh i post uh posted a clip of it in my discord server and people said they fuck with it so i was like i right, bet i'm gonna uh, drop it and stuff but yeah let's go ahead and get straight into it okay so first things first we're going to insert a local script into starter player scripts right i'm gonna keep the cutscene on the client side for now uh, pretty much the way this works is you guys know how things usually work on my channel. If you're new to my channel, pretty much if you guys want a part two to this, or you generally want me to continue the cutscene series, show this video some love, leave a like, comment. If you're new, subscribe. Let me know that you guys enjoyed the video, and I got y'all with a part two. But yeah, so you're gonna have a folder with all of your effects, and you pretty much want to insert everything into the local script, right? So you're gonna have a folder with all your effects. You know any any particle emitters and stuff like that things to give it like an aura like effect whatever the case may be throw all that into the effects folder we're going to parent all of this to the player so just throw it all into the folder you can just insert a folder and then just name it effects right then you have your sound effect here this is the sound effect sound effect i went with and it's pretty much uh because i made a super saiyan transformation uh type of cutscene we're just like you know the aura just appears around the player and this is the animation, it's called SSG, I mean SSJ animation, you know, you know, so I got that, I got that from the toolbox and stuff, and then, you know, I just published it and everything, so yeah, you would have your animation here, so you would insert an animation to the local script as well, so animation, name it whatever you want, and then just insert your animation ID and stuff, and then it'll autofill the RBX asset ID portion, but yeah, so throw all that into the local script, and you guys can go ahead and name this transformation script right that we can delete print whole world we're going to make a couple variables first thing first we're going to get the user input service local uis equal to game get service user input service then i'm going to get the tween service local ts is equal to game get service tween service then i'm going to get the local player local player is equal to game dot players dot local player then we're going to get into the function right when we need one function we're going to say UIS the input began connect function and parentheses put input comma process enter. I'm going to say if input that user input type is equal to enum that user input type the keyboard and processed is equal to false, which means pretty much the player is not the player is not typing in chat. They're just pressing the key regularly. We're going to say if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot e. You guys are Welcome to choose whatever key code you want. I'm gonna or key bind you want. Maybe you should just name the key bind, but whatever. Um, you guys can choose whatever you want. I'm just go with the E key, right? And I'm gonna create a variable. So local camera, which is you know my player's current camera, is equal to workspace dot current camera, and then I'm gonna say uh camera dot camera type. We're gonna change the camera type by default. Camera type I believe is custom. Yeah, and I'm gonna say is equal to enum dot camera type then you can say dot scriptable so we can change the properties via the script then we're going to create a tween we're going to say local tween is equal to ts create for the instance we're of course going to put the camera you're going to say comma tween info dot new and then for the duration we're going to say one we're going to say enum dot easing style i went with linear i'm mean, sorry not linear quint sorry I went with quint Right, first I'm using Quint actually, but you guys can go with whatever you want. Then of course for the easing direction, I went with in out. Also, first I'm using in out for the easing direction. Then come and then here's where it's it's a lot and stuff. We're going to make sure you type all this right, especially since most of it will not autofill. So we're pretty much gonna say we're gonna set the we're pretty much going to set the field of view. We're gonna say field of view is equal to 70, comma C frame is we're gonna and then we're gonna say c frame is equal to c frame dot new then we're gonna say player dot character dot humanoid root part dot c frame times c frame dot new zero comma zero then zero you know comma 
negative 6.5 then go on the outside or in between the parentheses and you're going to say dot position right then you're going to have another comma comma and then you're going to say wait yeah i think i have that right you're going to say player dot character dot humanoid sorry that humanoid root part that position and then that's it for that like i said make sure just double check make sure you type everything right because we just typed a lot of stuff especially since a lot of it is not out of fill so make sure you type everything correctly but yeah so then of course we're going to play set tween you're going to say tween play then we're going to set up the animation track we're going to say local at which is short for animation track is equal to player dot character dot humanoid load animation then we're going to say script dot and then we're going to ref reference our animation so ssj animation then of course i'm going to say at play and then i'm also going to adjust the speed but this is optional though you guys don't have to do this adjust speed i just want to make sure that the camera tween is uh is synced up like like it's in sync with the uh, the, the speed of the animation like the speed of the tween is synced up with the speed of the animation so adjust speed i'm gonna set it to 0 0.7 seconds Right, and then of course I'm gonna play the sound. I'm gonna say script dot super saiyan rose transformation sound effects or whatever the name of your sound is. You're gonna say play, and then I'm gonna use a four loop. I'm gonna say four iv in pairs. Here's how we get all the effects. We're going to, we're going to say script dot effects the effects folder get children. Then do v dot parent is equal to player dot character dot humanoid root part you guys can set the parents to whatever you want maybe you want sparkles in them person set or whatever and stuff that's up to you guys right and then the outside i'm gonna say task dot wait 1.5 seconds and then i'm gonna say camera dot camera type is equal is equal to enum dot camera type custom which is the uh camera by default so the player will be able to you know rotate the camera or stuff uh regularly and stuff let's go ahead and test this as always if you guys want access to any of my scripts or models you guys can become a channel member or a discord subscriber links to either either one of those options can be found in the description as well as a link to my discord server you guys can join the discord server to suggest video ideas um get help with any of my scripts see sneak peeks for things and some yeah that's really it and also just show but anyway let's go ahead and test this so if i press the so if i press the e key you guys see how how like my camera it went my camera it rotated itself went to the front and up in the animation plate and now i have the particle and effects that give they give the effect of like that i really did just go you know my character just went super saiyan type thing that it would have in the game right so that's how you make a basic transformation cutscene like i said if you guys want a part two which is more detailed and would be better and stuff like that just show this video my love and i got y'all thank you guys for watching leave a like and subscribe if you are new links to my roblox group and description in the description and yeah i'll see you guys next video thank you for watching